All right, today we're going to dive into the courses area of high level and show you how you can unlock new modules, lessons, etc. based on either a passing quiz result or just by the completion of the previous module. So as you can see, this is an old product we have. Everything here is kind of published right now. Well, it's published right now. But in order to, sorry, I have a hair on my eyeball. In order to unlock these lessons based on completion, what we're going to do is just go ahead and instead of published or draft or drip, we can go ahead and lock. So I'm locking workshop part one, and you can see you can go ahead and search posts. We're going to do welcome. Um, we don't need to select a category for this. Okay, so it says right here, see this post will be locked for your members till the selected post is completed. So we can go ahead and hit save. And then for the next one, we're going to go ahead and do workshop part one, save. All right, so there's that. When you do that, let me go ahead and preview. Okay, so what's going, don't mind the design, it's a little crazy right now. Okay, so what's going to happen is you can see this lesson is locked. I have to complete this first. So when I come back here and I go ahead and I don't think it's actually going to let, oh, the green hair back there. Because I'm in preview, it's not actually going to let me do this. Okay, but when you, hold on, let me just go ahead and, yeah, when you go ahead and click this mark as complete button, What's going to happen is it will unlock this and this will go away and we'll be able to actually view that. So if you want to base this off of a quiz, we're going to go ahead and publish these. So let's say at the end of this, we want to go ahead and I like we're going to click here. Go ahead, add a quiz, tester quiz. All right, let's go ahead. You can select this quiz requires passing grade. Passing grade is 75%. Yay, you passed. Try again. Let me move myself. Okay, and then we're going to come into adding questions. Let's do choice. Um, what color is the sky? And then you're going to add your choices. Option one, blue. Option two, we can do green. And then you just want to make sure that you're selecting your correct option actually for this one. So we could have done single choice. Um, that just essentially means that only one option is correct. Multiple choice basically means, hey, you can have more than one correct choice. Okay, we'll do another single choice. Uh, what color is the grass? Let's do option one, purple. Option two, green. Correct, and then one more question. Single choice. What is the planet that provides light to the Earth? Option one, Saturn. Option two. Okay, please be aware. I also know that the sun is not actually a planet. It is a star. But for this purpose, we're going to do that. Okay. All right, this is good, so we'll go ahead and save. Then we're gonna come back in here, and we can lock the category. We're gonna lock this category until, whoops, I didn't publish that yet, so it's not going to. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lock it based on the quiz, tester quiz, save. So essentially what that does, it ensures that until this is passed, it's not going to unlock this. So again, we can preview. And then we're gonna come the whole way down to the tester quiz. 
start the quiz. What color is the sky? Blue, color is grass, green, planet that provides earth, and then submit. Once that is done, it'll let us know, hey, you passed, and then it actually will unlock the next module. So that's how we're going to go ahead and build out the um, option to lock those things until they are completed.